Uh, Andre Gerald Lee Matos, a security analyst from Simon Fraser University, who we've been talking to. Thank you for that. Uh, CTV's Joy Melbourne, if we can ask you uh, where you are and what the current you know, situation is right now. Okay, I'm being told that we did have joint. Okay, I'm sure police are happy about that, but again, it's a fluid situation and one that has been changing quickly. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's going to be a, a day where tensions, no likely, will stay relatively high, where security uh, will be tight. And we're just showing you some of the worst vandalism right now, actually. Some of the mailboxes being used to smash some of the windows in downtown Vancouver. So that was uh, where things really got out of control. Uh, what about what police were bracing for? I mean, you're aware of the security uh, that surrounds these games. We know an awful lot of money is being spent on security. There are even concerns over how much money is being sent, uh, spent on security. But you take a situation like this, for a lot of people, uh, it's validated when you see the potential for, uh, you know, violent disruption, disruptions. What do you have to say in terms of you know, what police have to be prepared for? The police have to be prepared for, you know, for anything from, you know, a terrorism strike to an individual terrorist to mass demonstrations that are peaceful to large demonstrations such as these, which also include anarchists or violent groups who are using the occasion, you know, to, uh, to catch the attention of the media. But most importantly, the police are prepared not to be provoked into, you know, moving into the crowd violently. And that's exactly what the protesters the violent protesters want, even some of the peaceful ones. Yeah, so again, you're saying they responded very well, showed a lot of restraint. So far. Yeah, okay, yeah. and, 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 they're, and, they're it's, and you're right to say that. Here. You're right to say that because it's a situation that uh, continues uh, to develop and evolve. And uh, we're going to join CBS Joy Malvin for the latest on where all this is now. Uh, Andre Gerald Lee Matos, a security analyst from Simon Fraser University, who we've been talking to. Thank you for that. Uh, CBD's Joy Melbourne, if we can ask you uh, where you are and what the current you know, situation is right now. Okay, I'm being told that we did have Joy Melbourne. She's in downtown Vancouver. We're going to try and get uh, her back on the line for the latest there. Uh, Professor, I'm not sure if you're still with us. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to try and rejoin CTV's Joy Melbourne for the latest situation on this. If you're just joining us again, uh, we're going to continue to bring you the latest on the situation of protests that have been happening over the last... Okay, I'm 